to really protect your shoulders as much as you can is to try to keep your chest forward and tight throughout the whole movement. Your arms are what's gonna pull your body up, but then your chest is what's gonna pull your body closer to the bar. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh to all of our Bahadik Disciples YouTubers and viewers. Welcome back to a new video on Rip Right HD. Yeah. We out here again with your boy. Woo! Yo, calisthenics. Wow. Woo! What, what was, was that? Uh, if man. you can name what that was, <laughs> what I just did, I like that comment. Pin it. <laughs> Yes. But because I did two moves right there. It wasn't just one. If you can name what it was, then that's good. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys the Hephaesto. More specifically, the back lever Hephaesto because, you know, height-wise, we can't really do much more. Um, Hephaesto is a very, very, very intense movement. I'd say compared to, like, Planche, it's, it could be even scarier for your joints than planche. You know, this one is really that one where you need to like crunch your whole body. It's gonna feel weird, but it's gonna take a lot of practice and dedication to get. So, for the Hefesto, you really just need to see it to understand what's going on. One, you're grabbing the bar, and really you're doing a body weight bicep curl to your chest and then turning your back over it you know so the key to really protect your shoulders as much as you can is to try to keep your chest forward and tight throughout the whole movement your arms are what's going to pull your body up but then your chest is what's going to pull your body closer to the bar if that makes sense so it's a little mix between the two so when you're here you need to get a false grip and bring it down it doesn't have to be that high up. It can be like this, and you want to curl it back up. I do suggest you use chalk, and I do suggest you wrap your bar with some sort of tape that will help make it grippier. That's definitely going to help you get your Hefesto quicker. So when you hold it here, the technique is to keep your chest forward, grab the bar, come down at this point, lock out, curl it, then chest. Mm. You see, so that's, that's it's two in one. So the best way to learn this is to first, you know, really train it with bands and work your way down from bands. That to me is the best way to train for Hefesto because it's definitely gonna help a lot, you know, and, and the movement's gonna feel correct. Um, do you have a band on you? Yes. Yeah. We the got blue this one? blue one, yeah. So there's a specific way that I really like to put the band and I hope you'll like it too. Put your body through. Body through, it hangs down from there and then from here, put your feet in. Nice. I'm not sure, this is a tight band. This might snap me, I'll go like this. Ooh. See how the band is already coming up? Yeah, it's already lifting your body back up. See, basically, this way I could like basically do it one arm, but this is the concept. A lot of bands are bigger than this one. Mm, so you would work one arm and then switch. But no, I don't, I'm not purposefully working one arm. Oh, the band is so too tight. The band is too tight, but normally, when you put it around like this, it's gonna you're gonna drop down nice and snug. I'll kind of show you it and just to help you get a better idea in front lever, I might be able to do it. You know, this would be it for front lever, just as an example. You know. Mm. Look at that. That way, the band is more distributed evenly. You know, like the, it's pulling more evenly throughout your body instead of just one spot, you know, so that's going to help a lot. So 
You're gonna try to do it with bands and then hold, you know, I didn't say the requirements, but you need to get the supinated back lever. You need to be comfortable with it. That's it. Holding like, it. Holding it. How many you say? 15 seconds, 20 seconds? I think 15 supinated, supinated back lever, that's it. So um, after you work your way all the way, you know, to the thinnest band, that's when you're gonna start doing your negatives from the top. You know, you're really gonna just drop it down slow. Mm. And that's it. So you just keep trying to do negatives. And then, um, and then eventually from the bottom, you wanna start from the lockout after you do the negatives, you wanna learn how to do little pumps, little pumps. So you're down here, you start in the back lever. And from here, you just wanna do little, little pumps. pumps. Just to familiarize yourself with the of, movement of getting out of the lockout because one of the hardest part of the movements, a lot of people can learn the Hefesto and they can make it all the way down to right before lockout and curl up. But the difference between locking out and not is huge for this kind of movement. Like it took me a while to be able to fully lock out. So doing those little baby pumps at the bottom is really what's gonna help you. So a few other exercises you can do that can help as well um, is as you see, like holding the back lever supinated for time is always gonna help with your hepesto. And then you can also hold the bar like this and do like a bent arm and hold it right there. Hmm. For time, guys. Yeah. You do that for time. And then, so you wanna make sure your wrists are super flexible. And like I said in my elevator tutorial, if you have a forearm exerciser and you can work your grip like this, you know, the, the stronger you can get your supinated false grip like this, the, the harder you grip, the easier it's gonna to be to pull up. If you have a weak grip, that just get a stronger grip before you go for the Hefesto. Having a strong grip is gonna go a long way. A thicker bar might make it easier than a thinner bar. Find which one's better for you. Um, I think that's it. You got any questions, Rip? No, we all set. Yeah? All right. All right, guys, stay tuned. Stay Rip, six pack, big back, big facts. Yo, calisthenics. translation is a lump of flesh, a piece of meat. And when that lump of flesh